Welcome back everyone. Thank you for uh, tuning in to see another uh, review. Uh, today we are reviewing the Defender Dual Head Razor. Um, as you can see, it's very non-traditional. Um, I have the uh, traditional Defender. I absolutely love it. So when I saw this guy, I figured I would give it a shot. Kind of out of the ordinary in its appearance. Obviously it carries two heads. Um, which I thought was going to be an awesome feature on it. And so I wanted to kind of give you guys um, uh, an overview. I finally used it for the first time. I've had it for a month, but uh, things haven't worked out to where I got to review it and do um, write my thoughts down afterwards. So I finally did, and here it is. Um, so like I said, first time use. Uh, I used it, as you can tell, I'm quite bald. Um, on my scalp, trimmed up uh, my cheek line, trimmed up my neckline. It's been a couple of days since I've done so, so don't judge the quality of the blade by the fact that I've got stubble and it's not super neat uh, coming back in now. Um, but for those of you that saw my other review on the single uh, head, um, talked about the great features of the razor itself, the flexible head and all that. It still has all those things, but what I believe is that this is probably used for a full clean shave. You're taking your, you've got your, you don't have a beard, you're, you're hitting all the angles, your chin, your jaw, your neckline, you're right around your ears. Um, I am not certain that this is actually great. This is a, this is used or has the intention to be used for uh, somebody like me who's shaving their head. It, it works. Um, but, Essentially what I discovered with this on my first review of it or my first use of it It's very awkward to hold and I don't mean it's hard to hold. It's it's um, It's great for that. It's got little little um, kind of notched edges here uh, The inside of the ring is rubberized. It's it's solid in that sense and that I do really enjoy about it. I didn't have any issue I wasn't concerned about dropping it even in here swinging it around. I mean it's great for that, um, but it's. I didn't find it very comfortable to use. I felt like I had to keep going over the same spots over and over and over, um, and that has nothing to do with the quality of the blade. Same same blade quality is is on both of these here. Um, it for for as it was shaving, it was clean. It's smooth. It's. Uh, I was amazed by the end of the day. I mean, my hair what little bit of hair is growing on my head grows in pretty heavily and it was nice and clean it was smooth uh, soft um, but my the main issue I had was that I felt like I had less control with this than I did with this um, it's just it's awkward to hold and I'm not certain if that's because since I've been shaving from my teens I've always used some form of a traditionally long handled razor um, but it was hard to hit certain angles around my ears. It was, to me, it feels as though the head should come out right here. So you're doing kind of an awkward tip to, I felt like I was more scooping hair off my head rather than getting to shave, um, easily with this one here, you know, it's, it's a razor. It's, it's easy to use. I felt like I had to relearn how to do it. Um, Normally with this here for a full shave to make sure I get all the little spots that I miss the places that my hair doesn't grow in the same direction 10 10 minute shave roughly um, And I'm pretty particular. I make like to make sure I get all the spots in the back of my neck up and down here under my chin um, Or my neckline uh, the stray hairs that I get that grow on the side of my neck um, all this edging this in um, to from fading my beard down to this 10 to 12 minutes tops this I did this all in the shower and this was good near 20 minutes um, and that was a little bit frustrating and I'm sure some of that has to do with uh, practice but it it was just awkward um, the quality on it is really good um, it's a solid build I appreciate that uh, I do enjoy the fact that it has, you can kind of see right here, the the spring-loaded ejector buttons. Uh, let's see if I get the right one with this. 
pops right out. That itself is super nice. Um, but just this itself, I just, I didn't care for it. Uh, I am going to try it a few more times um, and and see see if my opinion changes on it. But my initial response to it is, it's cool, it's innovative, except that it's just, why, why reinvent the wheel? So, again, I'm gonna keep going on it. I'll, I'll give it another couple of shots. Uh, it's ten. It was it was ten bucks on on their on the Defender website for this. I believe this is five or six, maybe less. Um, but the gripping on this, I've talked about this this handle. It's rubberized throughout the whole thing. It grips incredibly well. Uh, this does too because your finger goes through it. Um, but finding the right grip to get the right angles just was honestly to me more trouble than it was worth. This guy here you cannot go wrong with. Um, I didn't find any feature on this that that made up for a single head on this. Um, and so that being said, you know, it's it just wasn't there for me. Um, you guys might really enjoy it. Again, this is this is review for for primarily uh, shaving my head versus shaving my face. For shaving my face, it may be a totally different thing. Maybe one day I will actually shave my face again. But my initial response: stick with this guy. Um, at least if you're doing what I'm doing, shaving your head, just edging your cheek line, edging your neckline. Um, can't go wrong. It's it's a great quality razor. They're sharp. They're flexible. They're it's good stuff right here. So anyways, thank you guys for watching. Uh, I appreciate um, you guys tuning in. I hope you guys are having a great go at shaving and learning to shave and all that stuff. But definitely hit that Defender single blade. It is very, very worth the money on that one. So anyways, thank you guys. See you around.